Well hey friends, I'm in my kitchen today um, and I thought I would just take you along with me kind of vlog style. I have got a lot of food to prepare today. Um, I've got bananas that are going bad, I've got zucchini that needs to be used up, um, and I am making a meal for a friend for tomorrow. Um, she had her baby a month early, so I'm bringing them a meal, and I just want to get some of the components made today so that when tomorrow comes I'm not cooking everything, everything on that day, because <laughs> that'd be crazy. Anyways, um, and so yeah, we've got a lot of kitchen stuff to do today, and we have to leave in about 40 minutes for the chiropractor. I'm going three times a week, um, because my back is just really bad, and I had some neck and hip x-rays done and they realized that at one point my hip bones had become separated and um, they I think they grade it on a scale like a percentage scale and at a hundred percent you are getting surgery at seven and my hip had at one point been at 75 percent so he said had I been seen by somebody I would have likely been talked to about surgery, um, but my body has healed itself, healed itself to 50%, um, which is still not great. Uh, so anyways, I'm going three times a week for adjustments. They're not adjusting my hip though because it's just so bad. Um, anyways, side note there. Um, I've got a lot to do today, so I thought I would do it vlog style rather than um, setting up for like the kitchen days that I like to do because seriously, I just have like a ton of stuff to do. Um, but I thought I'd take you along with me because this is fun stuff. I love watching this kind of stuff and I think maybe you guys do too. So anyways, I'm going to turn you around and share with you what I've got going on here. So first up, I am making um, chocolate chip zucchini banana bread. I printed a bunch of recipes from Pinterest, and man, this just makes my life easy. So I've made this recipe a couple times before, and I love it. I'm using up zucchini that I put up over the summer, and I just need to start getting that used up because summer's coming, and we're going to put up fresh produce for um, the fall, winter, spring that kind of thing. So I've got all my dry ingredients together here and you're going to go ahead and work on the wet stuff and get this going. So I gave things a quick little tidy. Um, I went and put pasta wrap over my zucchini bread because I didn't have time to bake it and I greased this pan for some banana bread. I've just left some bowls out because I know I'm coming back to do more baking and same with some of my supplies. Hello! and I did a quick load of dishes. So now we're gonna head to the chiropractor and we might stop at the grocery store. I need to pick up um, some fruit. I don't wanna go to the grocery store. I hate going to the grocery store. It's like my least favorite thing and it makes me miss my husband because he used to stop at the store for me all the time when I needed something. I don't wanna go. But we need, uh, I wanted to get some fruit um, for my friend, get that all cut up and ready to go, and we probably need some more fruit too, so. So we're home, and I'm feeling really good. My back is feeling so good, but he's like um, manipulating the part of my body that hurts the most, which is that hip. It's like bone, feels like bone grinding on bone. I actually, um, when I gave birth to Aubrey, I went through the whole labor um, of, she was, so <laughs> it was back labor, um, and I was completely unassisted. I did have some, like, oxygen, but um, painful, so painful, and that's the level of pain that this hip is, only I can move and the pain stops, but he is done so much good on me that like it's weird to not feel as much pain as that I like just always live with it's just crazy so anyways um I stopped at the grocery store I'll show you what I got um the guys are here mowing our yard it's really exciting it is 50 degrees out with a high of 54 today and it looks like we're gonna get a storm I'm just gonna go ahead and throw in the banana bread or no the zucchini bread Okay, so here's my quick grocery haul. I got this two pack of raspberries for $3.99. Two big containers of strawberries, one for me and then one for my friend. I will go ahead and wash these up and prepare them for her. They are organic, which was kind of exciting. Um, 
they were pretty much the same price as conventionally grown strawberries, so that was good. I do try and make um, a choice to get organic when it comes to berries. These aren't, like I'm not a stickler, but if the option is there, I do try. Now sometimes the organic berries are actually like moldy and bad because, you know, because because. Um, but that's a choice that we do try to make when they are fresh and good and available. So, um, some veggie straws and then two heads of lettuce. Lettuce is another thing that I'm trying to get um, more organic. This was not organic. Um, it was just looked really good. <laughs> um, and then I got a package of ground beef. I think I'm going to do tacos tonight for dinner. Um, this pure gum. So this is free of aspartame. This is a Canadian company. I am saddened that almost all gum contains aspartame. Um, and that's one thing I really do not want in my diet of any sort. Um, my grandpa had Parkinson's and my grandma has Alzheimer's and aspartame is just really bad for those kind of things. So I really um, am trying to avoid that. And this is really great gum. So pure um, I got myself a steak. I am craving steak salad, so the lettuce and some steak, and that will probably be dinner for tomorrow night. I got, um, these whole wheat tortillas, and the kiddos will like these. I don't do tortillas usually when it comes to taco salad, I just, or tacos, I make a taco salad, um, but my kiddos love wraps, so we'll do that. And then, we have been so into... Um, Queen Elizabeth, Aubrey is just, she just loves her, um, and Queen Elizabeth, um, you know, Princess Harry and Meghan Markle just got married, and we have been watching The Crown, and Aubrey loved that show, however, there were just, <laughs> I don't know if you, she said, yes I do, um, there are just episodes that aren't kid appropriate, um, so we had to have her stop watching it, so anyways, this whole Time Magazine was about Queen Elizabeth, and I thought this would be wonderful for Aubrey to read. And then I also thought this would make a really great addition to our homeschool. So that's why I picked it up. It was $16.99. I mean, this wasn't a cheap thing by any means. But I am looking at it to have as part of our homeschool. So um, the monarchy is something important here, especially in Canada. So um, I thought this would be a great resource. So I got my banana bread all mixed up. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the pan. I, this is the chocolate chip zucchini bread. I went outside earlier and got my composter all ready to go, which that was like a chore and a half. Um, you have to screw it into the ground, and our yard is very unlevel. We hope to maybe next year have somebody come and like refinish the lawn because the whole thing is just like so uneven. And so, three different times I tried to screw this thing in. And I would get to the last spot and it would be just a hole. But it wouldn't look like a hole because there was grass there. It was just frustrating. So finally got it in. Got all the compost stuff in it. So hopefully hopefully it goes good. Hopefully it doesn't attract bears. Because that's a very real possibility. But um, the pamphlet said to put dirt on it. So I did put dirt on it. So hopefully that will be good to go. I'm kind of really dragging. Like big time. Um... I have a mile long to-do list and I have no energy to do it so I have motivate in my diffuser I'm gonna roll it on my wrist I've got like a roller ball of it I'm gonna get this banana bread in the oven and then start on dinner we are going to do tacos tonight um, and we really want to make guacamole so we'll see if that if that happens so I made a guacamole. Um, I don't have uh, cilantro and I didn't have lime. I ended up just using lemon juice to give it a tartness. It's just me that's going to be eating it. I find it's pretty good. Um, my stepdad makes really, really good guacamole. But we are just going to have um, taco stuff for dinner tonight. And we are excited to eat. So here's what tonight looks like. It's 7 o'clock at night. Um, I've got my banana bread here. I've packaged it up for the freezer. This is the chocolate chip zucchini bread. This is going to go in the cupboard. Um, this is a pork roast for my friend for tomorrow. Um, I'm going to cook that overnight in the crock pot because I think we're going to be leaving fairly early tomorrow morning. Well, not early, but like 
probably like 10.30, so I'm not going to have time to cook that. So I'm going to cook that overnight. I just pulled it out of the freezer, and it's, you know, just sitting there thawing-ish a bit till I can get it in the crock pot. Um, I started cutting up the strawberries, and this will go for my friend. Um, and what, This is like one whole container of strawberries, so that's that. And then I'm going to chop those up for us. And this is my compost bowl. Um... I think I mentioned I got our composter set up and this will actually be another trip out to the composter tonight to put all of the strawberry stems in. So the kids are outside playing with the dogs and I'm just watching some homeschool videos on YouTube. So when you take a meal to someone, the idea is that you do not want to take them containers that you want back. Um, you want things that are disposable or you know you're just gonna leave with them and that's the case of this container so we had a whole bunch of containers that we got for free from our grocery store it was a promotion if you spent like two hundred dollars you got this 24 piece kit of these snap lock containers now we have glass lock containers and we have so many that they barely fit in our cupboards um, so I don't need these and they have been sitting in my kitchen for months. <laughs> um, I have them tucked away under my like kind of kitchen island table. So anyways, I washed a few of them up and I'm just going to send them over to my friend. They work so perfect because I really didn't have other containers to give to her and I didn't want to run to the dollar store and get reusable things. Um, that was just another expense, another trip, and I'm so glad. Hopefully she'll be able to use these. She has a daycare, so I'm sure some organizing things will come in handy if she can't use them in her kitchen. So I've shared this before on my channel, but if you're new, maybe you didn't see this. Um, I love to cut up my strawberries, and then I love to add some... I use a sugar alternative. I've used Trivia today. Um, and I like to muddle my strawberries a bit. It brings out a lot of the um, sweetness with them and I find that they just last a bit longer than just keeping them whole or even sliced um, and it brings out just such a good sweetness I love 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 my strawberries this way and the funny thing about the trivia is that this strawberry is dipped in trivia so I'm telling you it's really really good so so really great news um, our friend Kevin called me um, he kind of finished up our house when we um, renovated he did all of the finishing work and stuff and we need a new roof and it has been needed done for a very long time um, but you know what a new roof is really expensive so we finally have the money and he is coming tomorrow to do the roof and I am so excited so around 7 30 8 o'clock um, they're gonna show up they're gonna have a few deliveries we're getting like a big bin to put all of the um, roof tiles and whatnot in and yeah oh I'm so excited so that'll be a really great project because the roof has been awful. We've had so many people stop over like the past two years and give us their business card and try and get us to have them do the roof. And it was never a matter of not knowing that we needed it done. It's just that we didn't have the money. And, you know, that's just how it goes sometimes. We were not, we're not people to put things on a bunch of credit and whatnot we wanted to have basically the cash and our friend is giving us a good deal and he is a contractor so he really knows what he's doing and we trust him so I'm excited the kids are still playing outside it is 20 after 7 at this point um, it's starting to kind of sprinkle and they're just enjoying themselves and I just don't care so I decided I'm not gonna make chocolate chip cookies really wanted to but I can't seem to find the recipe that um I really love. I've made multiple recipes for chocolate chip cookies on Pinterest to find the one recipe that I really love. And I found one. And I made it twice. So good. It's so perfect. Love it. But I don't think I bookmarked it. <laughs> um, and so I tried another recipe after that and it was a disaster. Like, I know what I'm doing in the kitchen. I'm not a bad cook. I'm fairly good at baking. Um, I am very precise when it comes to my measurements and all that. And I made this one recipe and it was awful. I, I had to throw it away. Um, the cookies were greasy and there was like way too much butter or something in them. It was awful. 
Um, so yeah, so I actually threw them away. Anyways, all that to say, I can't quite find the recipe. I'm kind of really exhausted. I'd like to edit a video tonight. So what I'm going to do is make no-bake cookies. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so it's almost 8.30. I made two coffee cakes. Um, this is one recipe, but I decided to just divide it up in half. Now, I just got done telling you guys not to take... Um, reuse like containers that you need back but I didn't have a container I thought I had reusable pie plates and that's what I was just going to make this in can't find them for the life of me I must have gotten rid of them um so anyways I'll just make it a point to go back and get this at some point so anyways this is a cinnamon roll coffee cake it is wonderful um and there's a glaze that goes on top of it but I'm going to make the glaze tomorrow um, so then she'll have like a breakfast option um, for the following day and I'm getting ready to make my no-bake cookies here this is peanut butter and vanilla I'm gonna make these after I put Colt to bed um, I've got my crock pot set here it is not turned on yet the meat is still very very frozen so I'm just gonna give it a little bit longer just to kind of do thaw um, so I don't overcook it um, but I've got some onion in there and then some barbecue sauce. So I've got my recipe here, my oven mitt, some stuff for the compost, and I've done 9 million dishes tonight. The prep project in that it's not actually about making everything. It means that we're doing it, you know, then that's a good thing. So we need to put our phone on the back. Keep going. You can do it. You're doing a good job. That is awesome. Okay, so now I've got a pop quiz for you. Are you ready? Look at these cookies. Don't they look good? They're peanut butter and oatmeal, I think. And then... Hi! Oh, yeah. I got this Baby Alive doll, which was $20 in the USA. Um, at... Target <laughs> with my cousins. So I got pasta wrap on the coffee cakes. I'll make the glaze tomorrow morning. And then I have set out these uh, ruby potatoes. I'll get those washed up tomorrow and roast them. I've got some garlic and some shallots. And I pulled out my favorite avocado oil. So I can get those roasted up. I pulled out a couple cookies for myself. I got the cookies put away and it is now almost 10 o'clock. I beat, um, I spent the evening kind of like, oops, <laughs> trying to clean up my house. Um, move my truck on the road because, um, they're bringing me a bin tomorrow at 7.30. Um, yeah, so they need to put it in the driveway. Now I'm going to go fold laundry <laughs> and go watch some... TV. I am so beat and tomorrow's a really big day so I think I'm going to call it quits for tonight. I hope you guys have a good night. I may pop in tomorrow. Ooh, mosquito. Got it. Um, I may pop in tomorrow and show you what everything looks like all pulled together. Well good morning friends. We have people on the roof. We have glaze on the coffee cake. I'm going to get the kiddos a little piece. I don't, we don't usually have stuff like this for breakfast, but it's just a once in a while kind of fun treat. In fact, we've actually never had something really like this, except for sweet rolls or monkey bread or something like that for holidays, but it looks really good and can't complain too much. So here are my potatoes, all cut up and ready to go into the oven for roasting. I also chopped up two shallots, that's the purple thing, and then I smashed three heads or cloves of garlic. Um, and I love caramelized onions, they get so delicious and good, but they're in large enough pieces where they can pull them out, they don't care for onions. Um, same with the garlic. I just smash it, I don't cut it, um, I just break it open basically, I hammer it with the back of a knife and added some avocado oil, um, salt and pepper, and a little bit of Italian seasoning. So these are going to go into the oven, and then I'm going to get my pork shredded. Okay, so pork is shredded, and I've added the barbecue sauce. I did add a bit for cooking to get the flavor into the meat, but I added more for 
um, when I shredded it. So I'm using this bacon and maple and it smells pretty good. Hopefully they like it. Okay, so I've got everything laid out to take uh, to my friend's house. So we've got um, some hamburger buns. I just pulled these from the freezer last night. I've got the no-bake cookies, sliced strawberries. This is the pulled pork, roasted potatoes, and then a coffee cake for tomorrow. So that is what I've pulled together. I'm going to go ahead and put it inside of this big old bag and we'll be ready to go. And everything fits neatly inside of this bag. This is from 31 Gifts. Um, I'm not sure. This exact pattern probably still isn't available. I'm guessing they probably have something like this. This actually can hold two large pizza boxes in it. Um, and all that food comfortably fit inside. I didn't have to stuff anything. And the thing I like that, about this bag is that it is thermal. So it will either he keep things hot or cold. Um, and it expands a bit because it's not a solid structure. Um, the sides can like, I mean, you could cram stuff in if you needed to. So anyways, that is a look at um, yesterday and a bit of today. We are going to go drop everything off at my friend's house. We are running way behind. I planned to be there half an hour ago, um, but this has been a busy day. Oh, I'm just looking outside. My patio furniture got moved. Hmm. Probably because they're pulling down all the tiles. Or yeah, Is that what they're called? Roof tiles? shingles. I always call them tiles. Um, anyways, I hope you guys have a good day and um, I will see you in my next video. Bye.